Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. So here we are again uh, in a new video about Linux. I mean, what's better than that? A whole video about Linux? Bro, that's cool, right? Today we're going to be talking about distro hoping and why you should not distro hope, okay? I'm not here to just uh, talk, talk, talk and then leave, okay? I want you to learn something after watching this. Uh, because uh, for me, as a beginner in Linux, it took me ages to find out that I'm really... Uh, doing something that is completely wrong and uh, yeah starting when i first discovered linux okay uh, I, I discovered linux like years ago back when uh, you know i was really interested in kali linux and all that things you could do with it but back then i was just like using it in a virtual machine i didn't really care i didn't install it i installed it once or even twice like completely on my machine but then i erased it and got back to windows but just a couple months ago i don't really remember how long it's been i finally decided to install linux on one of my machines so i bought myself a laptop i didn't know what to do with it windows wasn't an option even older versions of windows weren't an option so i had to go with some and that something was linux to be more specific mx linux so I kept using it on that laptop for like i could say a couple weeks until i started learning about the basics of linux so Sorry about that, I had to drink a bit of coffee. Uh, until I start learning and you know discovering things about Linux and I started understanding how Linux works, right? And, and then I was like, oh, it's not that hard because I always had the idea that Linux was really hard to learn, which wasn't the case at all, okay? It took me like only a week to understand like the basics and then like start doing everything myself from the commands, the terminal, how to install this and that, how to delete this and that, how to configure stuff and uh, yeah i started with xfce as my desktop environment mx linux as the linux distribution i wanted to use uh, and, and as i said it was good i didn't face any problems sometimes i did but google was my friend at this point even ai it wasn't the hardest at all so i kept thinking to myself why am i doing this on that laptop specifically why don't i just move on to something why don't i just try something else this is way better than mx linux that will give me more freedom and I could do much more stuff and also it's, it will be like a great chance to learn more about Linux because you know not all Linux distributions are the same some of them are based on Debian some of them are based on Arch some of them based on blah 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 you get my point so I was like yeah that's gonna be a great opportunity to just learn about something you never had a chance to learn in my life and uh, yeah I looked at my desktop like that and I was like yo bro you're gonna be the next victim so what I did is I I dual booted my desktop my hp desktop to be having a windows 10 or 11 i don't remember but it's, i believe it was 10 because i f***ed windows 11 i did something to windows 11 that i broke the shit out of it i think or maybe it just deleted something by mistake i don't remember you could like go back to my old videos and see what i actually did but yeah i kept windows let's say i reinstalled windows now i remember and uh, i dual booted that thing with linux leave uh I started with Endeavor OS. Yeah, that's what I did. So the world boots the Windows 10 with Endeavor OS. And the experience was amazing. A whole new experience. Everything was so different. I was using Debian, then I switched to Arch. And I was like, wow, that's cool. That's really cool. I enjoyed it, every single bit of it. It was painful sometimes, all right? Besides, like, this was Endeavor, it was less painful than Vanilla Arch, but mm, we could say it was painful. It's Arch anyways. And uh, that's when I discovered this for hoping. I kept doing that for a really long time, I would say, because exactly one week after I installed Endeavor in that desktop, I seen another opportunity in another laptop I had. I was like, wait, maybe, and just maybe, I could install something else on that laptop, <laughs> okay? And they did it. I used Linux Mint on it, then I used uh, something else, I don't remember. I don't even remember what I did, but literally, that was my uh, main laptop that I used for work work and everything and I was literally distro hoping every couple days so today I will use this then three days later I'll be using a whole different thing that uh, that's just completely different and that's been going
going on for like weeks, you know. Generally, I've been using Endeavor and Arch on uh, two of my devices or machines, but in the laptop that I'd be, you know, working on and doing all kinds of things on, I was distro hoping a lot. I was literally installing things all the time. So erase this and install this, erase this and install this to the point where I, I got a bit annoyed. It was fun at first, but uh, just after doing that again and again and again and having to configure everything in a whole different way every single time did for sure give me some experience so uh, i learned a lot of stuff but it wasn't worth it all right it wasn't really worth it because i was wasting a lot of time doing that and we're talking about hours countless hours just configuring everything from scratch and sometimes things break down and you have to fix it, especially if you're going to use something that is Arch based or, you know, even Debian. Let's just not deny that. Even Debian can break sometimes. Linux can break out of nowhere sometimes. Uh, of course, because something you did doesn't just break by itself. Uh, and uh, then I started thinking, you know, I was like, maybe it should be just the end. Maybe I should stop this. And uh, that's exactly what I did. One day I just decided to sit down, all right? And and stop doing whatever I was doing. I installed Endeavor, the same like Linux distribution that I have on my main desktop, on my other laptop, and I was like, you know what? You're gonna sit down forever like that. I'm good. That's fine. But just a week later, I switched back to Arch. Couldn't handle really Endeavor. It was good. It's amazing, but I, I wanted the Arch experience. So I installed Arch on that laptop. I mean, I have Endeavor in here. What the point if I'm just gonna have Endeavor in two laptops? I mean, two machines, a desktop and a laptop. But yeah, I'm a, like one of those Arch users just love R so much. As a conclusion, I'm gonna just tell you to stop this show hope because you know what? You have a lot. You have something to achieve in life and you have goals. That's what you need to achieve. Linux is uh, more like a rabbit hole, an endless rabbit hole because it's so complex. It's so unlimited. That's the best way to describe it because no matter how good you will uh, make your Linux distribution look and perform, it's still gonna be missing something in your opinion. You're still gonna think that it's not perfect. Why? Because that Linux. Windows, you might reach an end with Windows because it's limited. You might reach an end with Mac OS because it's limited by Apple itself. They don't want you to do anything bad to their thing or customize it. They don't want you to do really that much, all right? They give you some settings here and there and you're good. The same with Windows. Microsoft doesn't want you to mess around them. They give you an operating system that will basically be and look the same for a long period of time if you don't change things yourself. Take full control of that thing, kind of, which you're probably never going to do. But with Linux, it's a whole different story. It's yours. Break it or don't break it or customize it or don't customize it or do this and that nobody cares you take control of your linux distribution but it's sad when your linux distribution take control of you because you spend a lot of time with it, which doesn't make sense ask yourself that question for how long do you think you can keep pushing it with this distro hoping thing where you have to delete this and install this every once in a while i read a, a reddit post about somebody that kept distro hoping for like 11 years 12 years bro that's so much that's so much 11 years my dude are you kidding me? what have you been doing in that 11 years of your life that person could spend that 11 years building some business or doing something with his life that could really change everything about his life but no he just kept this show hoping and doing this and that and generally talking a lot of time was wasted and here we're talking about 11 years so I'm making this video just to tell you to stop whatever you can do, all right? Like, sure, I'm not telling you to not do whatever you feel like doing. If you feel like this, you're hoping do it, but make some limitations to yourself. Don't just dedicate to your life so much that you start forgetting about doing the necessary things in your life and you just focus on this, you hope. That's bad. That's bad. I promise you, staying in your room for hours trying to just configure something with Arch Linux or some Linux distribution that you just installed isn't gonna change anything with your life yeah 
yeah, your Linux distribution might look good. And you might take a quick screenshot and post it to Linux Corn. And you might like get a lot of attention of how cool your Linux distribution looks. But after all, the only achievements that you got is that your Linux looks good and that's it. So uh, don't do what I did because it's been a couple months, I would say. This whole time I was just this for hoping. And uh, yeah, this is the end results, literally. Now I have the ugliest, if not the ugliest, Linux distribution on Earth. It looks just normal. It serves its purpose, which is uh, getting my work done. And I'm happy with that. I don't want it to look good. I don't want it to just be perfect. I just want it to be there. I want Linux. That's it. I mean, look at that. I just have the taskbar, whatever that is, on top like that with the little clock in here and this little processor thingy showing me the, the CPU. G GPU. I don't even have that. Well, it's Linux. I don't need a GPU. And that thing over here where I have like a couple apps pinned. And that that's really it. I mean, what do you expect me to do? I could just, you know, spend hours with Hyperland and configure it and do all kinds of things. So I can take one of those screenshots, of course, but no, I don't care. I ask myself one single question every single time I want to use Linux, which is, does it does what it needs to do? If the answer is yes, then I'm keeping it. If the answer is no, then I'm switching. End of story. So that was my story, okay? That's my POV. And in the comment section, I want you to share your own POV. What is it like to distro hope? Do you consider distro hoping a good thing or a bad thing? Let me know in the comment section. I will definitely read it. And this was today's video. I will see you in the next one.